Mm-mm. Lights are up. Lights are going up. Lights are going up. Checking it out. Checking it out over here. We got the lights. We got the lights going. Walk around, show you those lights. Boom, boom, boom. Got some lights all around. I like this light. It's a dope little light right here. Hey guys, Ron Samo Jr. here, One Stop Realty Shop. Net you, Daddy at the School Challenge. We're over here on Cottrell with our man, Dan O'Donnell. Dan O'Donnell doing those lights, getting that electrician work done. That's what we do here. Hmm. It's a beautiful day. It's just starting to rain right now. Just starting to drizzle a little bit. So Dan's getting a final count of the stuff in here. There he is. <laughs> There's the man. So we got the floors in, all the light fixtures up, everything, everything in here. Going nice and smooth. Cleanest job site you ever been on. Cleanest job site you ever been at. That's what we do here. All right guys, so now we gotta take care of one of the major lies and assumptions going on today. All the realtors are saying the market's hot, the market's hot, list your house now, the market's hot. But then they add in, if you're priced correctly. If you're priced correctly, it sells fast. We've been telling you that for the past 16 years. Price, location, condition, marketing, advertising. Four things, two factors, is timing and you. So let's look at the timing aspect right now. The market died and shut down when everything else shut down. Now, you have people that are scared to put their houses on the market or, be, or people that have had their houses on the market for years, months now, who are still up there. Those houses are still not selling. If you're priced incorrectly, it's never going to sell, okay? Now you have a lot of people, buyers, buyers out there that are looking because they have to, okay? And the interest rates are so low and they think because of COVID, they're getting such a great deal on houses because six million people file for unemployment in a day, okay? Which really isn't the case. Which really is the case is if you remember third grade social studies, we're taking this back to third grade social studies. It's called supply and demand for any business. Right now, there's not enough inventory on the market. So if there's not enough inventory and more buyers, you're gonna get multiple offers on one house is which we're seeing now, the market is not hot because if the house is not priced correctly, your house is still not selling. To all you people that are still way overpriced, you're still sitting there. You're still sitting there. So the, to the realtors out there that are marketing right now that the real estate market's so hot and we're selling houses left and right, no, you're getting multiple offers on, multi, on different properties because supply and demand, too many buyers, looking okay thinking they're going to get a deal and there's not enough inventory on the market right now so that's why you're getting multiple offers that's why the market's so hot right now to every realtor out there that's trying to make themselves look good in their business okay most realtors out there don't even know the business most realtors out there market and advertise totally incorrectly and feed you a bunch of bullshit a bunch of bullshit that if you actually pay attention to what we tell you, if you actually pay attention to what the market's going on, right now, as we told you, most people are scared because they don't know if they're going to get what they need for their house. Most people added two, their two or three months mortgage payments on the back end because they couldn't afford it without a job. Okay, Most people are sitting stagnant because even if they are late on their payments, nobody could be thrown out of their house right now due to the COVID situation. Okay, so... Make sure you market and advertise it properly. Stop lying and stop sounding like something is new with all you realtors out there. We've been telling you this for years. Price, location, condition, marketing, and advertising. Four things. 
Two factors is timing and you. The real estate cycle happens in every seven to 10 years. Seven to 10 years. Think about it how long ago it was when we had our last boom. Think about it how long ago when houses were selling like this on the market. And there was much more, much more inventory out there. So when there's too much inventory and not enough buyers, houses don't sell. When there's too little of inventory and too many people trying to buy, you get multiple offers and then realtors are out there telling you that they're closing deals left and right. They're bosses. They're separate entities from their companies. No, ask them how many deals. Ask them how many deals. Ask them to prove how many deals. Instead of just marketing a video of themselves, doing nothing and talking to you. Not on a job site, not building houses, not buying, not selling houses, not people, not helping people sell their houses. But how many people are really marketing and advertising closings and sales? Yes, you may have a lot of people looking out there. You might have a lot of people looking out there because they think they're going to get a great deal right now due to COVID. Because people take advantage of people that are losing their homes and can't pay their mortgage. So guess what? It's a buyer's market. It's a buyer's market. It's a listing market. It's a listing market. If you price your home correctly in the first place, instead of being a stubborn ass, your house will sell no matter what. In any market, mark my words, in any market, if you price your house correctly, you price it according to your conditioning, you market and advertise it correctly, and then you take the two factors of timing and you, when you get realistic with the prices of the homes, then your house sells very quickly. If your house isn't selling, there's only one thing you can control, and that's the price. Remember guys, all it takes is one stop. We're telling you the truth every single day here, showing you what we do, building houses, selling houses, selling people for houses, <laughs> caffeine and water, you can't forget about that. We're all hyped up every day. Hydrate, hydrating ourselves the right way. Hydrating ourselves the safe way. Okay? Don't forget the hashtag net you. We got Dan O'Donnell right here doing our count. Doing our count. This is our man right here. Not only, not only is he one of the world's best electricians and such a handsome man, but a personal, but a personal friend. And I'm the big guy to him. I don't care what else he calls anybody else. I'm the big guy. Remember, guys, all it takes is one stop. Hashtag net you. That at the school challenge. Don't be a Samson, don't be a Gould, don't be a Ram, don't be a Page, don't be a Rizzo, don't be a McCann, uh, don't be a Moriello, don't be a Moriucci, don't be a Real Estate Roots, don't be a Rourke, don't be a DP, don't be an IULE, okay? Now we got a new one, don't be a Hen, don't be a Hen. Architect people, Arthur J. Hen, negative, bad business, bad business. Remember guys, we are real estate superheroes for a reason. Anybody can happen at any time in life, but remember, doing good business, you can control. All it takes is that one stop.